Hey guys, thanks for tuning in again. Uh, this is where I'm up to with the uh, 550 at the moment. As you can see, I've got some little extras on there, some stuff you haven't seen before. Uh, so I'll be going into them late, uh, later. As you can see, I've got my GPS on there now. Uh, this actually came uh, last week. Um, I think it was ordered on a Friday and it came on a Saturday. I ordered it from uh, the usual guys at Quadcopters. So that's uh, pretty good going of them to get it here the next day. And the whole... Uh, well basically the whole of England was covered in snow so I'm really surprised it managed to get here so quick anyway so uh, I'm very happy with that uh, as you can see I've got it fitted here at the moment but I'm going to be moving that from here to there just to make a bit more room when I stick the lipo in uh, the other thing is uh, this is your it is your full GPS and compass unit it's all built into the into the uh, circular dish you can see here Let's see if we can focus on that Um, now on the DJI Phantom the digital compass was actually taken out of their, um, the, the main quad itself because it was up in the top here where the GPS unit is so they put the compass down on here on the leg uh, due to all the in electrical interference in there it wasn't great so that's why they put it there and I think that's why it was actually delayed slightly uh, the launch date was delayed so basically what's in that is in that one unit there uh, the thing to remember is this little uh, arrow you can just see is the front where the cable's coming out the arrow and the cable that is the front I made the mistake of uh, pointing it backwards I assume the, the wire would have been the back but no that's the front so as you can see I've got my two red legs and I've got it pointing that way so let's go into uh, how you do this okay so first of all I'm just going to remove this uh, so I can show you how to do a complete setup I'm going to move it from here and put it onto this arm here Okay, so here's just a little look at the unit itself. You've got the base plate here with the four uh, points in to screw, and then you have a top plate which you stick a sticky pad on so you can stick the top of the GPS on there and obviously the stem as well. Uh, I did notice you can get uh, foldable ones uh, from uh, I think it was either Droidworks or some, somewhere like that. I'll put a link in the description anyway. So if you have a crash, it will fold down and it'll save you snapping this uh, stem. So uh, that's quite a good idea. Uh, okay, so I'm going to be fitting mine over here at the front of the quad, sorry, the hex. Uh, so I'll just route the wires inside through the frame or find a nice way to put them so it looks nice and neat. I think I'm just going to put mine over the edge like so. And then I'll show you where to plug in that cable. It's all very messy at the moment because uh, I haven't had a chance to tidy it up, I'm still doing testing. You want to make sure everything's correct before you uh, go out and do your, a big flight. Okay, so as I said before, you need to have the wire or the little arrow pointing forwards, so the forward position of your quads or hexa. So there's my two red arms which are the front arms and then we have the point pointing the front as well. Okay, so here's our... Uh, cable from the GPS which is the grey one with DJI written on it and just in the background you can see the NASA with the horizontal um, port just on the top right there it's actually out of focus give me a second there we go and that's where you're going to plug in your GPS okay so we're going to tell our NASA exactly where on the hex the GPS and the compass is so this is going to be our X position this way our Y position that way and then our Z position going up so what we need to do is go from the center of gravity which is in the middle here uh, that's where I've got my, my uh, NASA directly underneath there and then I'm going to measure in centimeters from the middle all the way across to the point of the GPS which I make as seven so our X will be seven centimeters now our Y is how far it is across this way so again go to the center measure across my Y is five centimeters and then our Z is how high it is off of here which is roughly 10 centimeters so what you will do though is not put 10 centimeters in you're gonna put minus 10 don't ask me why that's just how it works so 7 
uh, I think it was 5, and then minus 10. So they're the inputs we're going to put into there. So let's go to our X, which was 7. 7. Our Y was 5. And our Z is minus 10 centimeters. And then we'll go to right. And the right and will change from red to black to say it's done. And that's how you tell the NASA where your GPS is. Okay, so let's calibrate our compass. This is really easy to do. Uh, if you're reading it in the manual, it might sound a bit confusing, but it's actually very easy. So let's do that now by turning our transmitter, plugging in our power supply. Let's give it a second to uh, initialize. You can see I have uh, red dots there or red flashing. In fact, it's gone now. Oh, there it is. Uh, the reds mean um, you're looking for a GPS signal. Right, let's take our GPS ATI and manual switch and uh, do that 10 times. You see we've got a solid, uh, solid amber light now. What we need to do is pick it up, keep it level and rotate that around 360 degrees. Once you get back to your point it should go green. So then we're going to lift that up and then rotate it again for 360 degrees and once you get back to your end point again it should stop and that's your compass calibrated and ready to fly Perfect. Well, let's go outside and do some test flights. Super stable.